In this lesson, I'm going to show you where you can add your virtual assistant to your Height Fury account so that they never have to log into your Twitter whatsoever and they can completely control all of your scheduling, your posting. Maybe you don't even want to log into Height Fury. You just want to have a dedicated social media manager or virtual assistant, executive assistant to do this for you. This is exactly how you would add them as a user to your account while still keeping you the account manager or the admin. So you'd click your little Twitter bubble here, your profile picture, and then you can add account for business accounts, other Twitter handles, other Twitter accounts that you have. But you want to go to settings. And then you want to go to users. And then if you're going to add a manager or add an, you know, an account manager to your uh, team member to your account, you're going to click this button. And it says here, this link is valid until 723. So it basically gives you 24 hours for this token, this, this URL. You're just going to copy this and you're going to literally give it to the person that you want to get access to your account. So if it's a virtual assistant, you will ping them the link. I actually had a virtual assistant who I gave access to on this account, but um, you know, I'm probably going to have her start when my, my account picks up a little bit more, probably in the next month or two. I'll have her jump in here to do some engagement for me as well. But that is the super simple way to connect. I also didn't tell you how to connect various accounts. So if you go under the connections section, you can actually connect your Facebook. Uh, Gumroad is just a place to host different products, services, lead magnets. You can connect your LinkedIn account, Instagram account. You can also generate an API key to connect with other apps and things to communicate back and forth. And Blackmagic is just kind of like a Twitter analytics um, thing. Blackmagic actually last year was a separate company, but Hype Fury purchased them and started to house them under their uh, piece of software here. So this is where you would connect all of your social accounts. Here's the composer settings as well. The only thing I have turned off is the expand thread after three line breaks. So basically when you go to create, I'll show you what this looks like. When you go to create, if we do here, here, pop, 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 it starts a brand new thread or a new tweet underneath and pop, pop, pop. <clears throat> so this is going to be all one thread, right? I don't have that turned on just in the accidental case that I hit enter three times or, you know, fat finger something. So I have that off, but it's, it's kind of like a rapid fire way to, um, you know, create multiple uh, thread tweets in one creation slot. Long text splitting into thread. So yes, you want this turned on because you don't want Hype Fury erasing any of your batched uploaded data, your batch uploaded tweets. You don't want, if something is too long, you want it to actually split into a thread and save the whole of the entire tweet. You don't want it to not split and then you lose the back, the bottom part of the tweet. And then autofill empty composer with your best tweets. Every time you click the create here or the composer, it will have this autofill function. So these are all some of my best tweets in the past. And you can immediately schedule these. You can add them to categories. I'll be doing this as well for a lot of this stuff now that I have my categories all lined up again. Um, and then of course the tweet shot customization. So this is the stuff that goes up. Link This gets posted to LinkedIn too as well if you want, but it's really more so for Instagram and you can customize this any way you like with different themes and different layouts and at the very bottom you're going to sit, click save and yeah and then of course the last thing here is notifications definitely check this on when a post fails to be published you'll get an email a weekly digest as well gives you kind of just a weekly update of like hey you posted 14 times this week you gained 18 followers you lost three you know 15 net new and you know, yada, yada, right? How many likes, how many reposts? And then it will also alert you when your queue becomes empty. Now this queue is not, this doesn't have to do with recurring posts. So don't worry when this pops up, if all you have is your recurrent post, it's really just kind of the manual or other scheduled stuff um, as well. I don't do the daily just because I don't need a daily email from them, but this is your queue, right? So if you have, something that is in the queue from a manual perspective. Once that runs out, 
uh, then it will alert you that your queue is empty. So this is Hype Fury in a nutshell. This is the most phenomenal piece of software that I've seen. This blows Taplio out of the water. I've used three to four other ones. Publer, I can't even remember the names of the other two I used last year that were total trash. But this allows me to do so much with very little time and automate the entire process of it. So go get yourself the premium version and uh, start automating your entire Twitter growth and a lot of the leads that you bring in. So thanks again for uh, taking the time to take this course. If you have any questions, I'm sure you have my email. You can DM me anywhere else as well too. So um, yeah, hope this helps. Cheers.